All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we're doing a different video today uh, between the divisions that I've been playing. Um, I do play this game quite often. So a friend of mine suggested that I put my Nova build onto YouTube uh, because there aren't many Nova builds out recently. A lot of them are quite old. So here is me showing you my builds. Uh, so we'll get straight into it. Now, your first one is going to be Energy Siphon. Obviously this is a given for Nova, considering he uses so much energy to begin with. Uh, Cunning Drift is my preference. Now you could use... Uh, where is it? You could use Power Drift, that gives you more strength. Uh, but in my case, I don't need that. And the, the chance to resist knockdowns, I don't need either. Because I have another mod for that one. So, the reason why I take Cunning Drift is because it's 12% slice, which makes no difference to me. 30 minus uh, with friction, which again makes no difference. But the reason why I put it on is because it's 15% power range. And of course, her, her last ability um, depends with range on how big of a blast radius uh, the enemies have when you, they die. Now obviously you want a big blast radius to begin with, uh, with substantial power as well as. Now the reason why this is is because the better the range and the better the power, uh, strength, my apologies, uh, the bigger the blast, so obviously it will catch nearby enemies in as well, which gets good chin reactions which can be quite fun in some cases. <laughs> uh, the next one I've got is Transient Fortitude. This is 45% power strength and minus 22.5% power duration. Now the reason why I have got this on is because strength is a given. Um, she uses strength for pretty much um, her main ability and her last. Now the reason why I use this is because the better the st uh, power strength, again, the better the blast and the bigger the blast radius. Uh, sorry, not the bigger the blast radius. The bigger the blast um, they get. Now I've counteracted this with power duration, um, which is prime continuity. I have maxed it out, I managed to do that a couple of weeks ago, which is good for me. Um, but if you can't get one of these, continuity would probably suffice. Uh, next is streamline with 30% power efficiency. I need this definitely for the amount that I use with power on her first and last ability. Uh, now reminded is the next one with 81% power duration. Now this is good because it makes the last ability last a lot longer so it can give, if you're in a party, your teammates time to shoot the enemy with it on. Now I'm going to go into this part and it's total preference but in my opinion if you're in a team guys you might want to use brighter colours like not kind of misty kind of colours or white colours. The only reason for this, uh, with your energy colour I mean, is um, I found it hard when I've seen other Nova users use these dark colours. The problem is when you're looking at an enemy and it has on the last ability with your kinetic, it should spiral around it to show you to show you that they have it on. Now this is hard to see if it's a dark colour, which means they don't know who to shoot at as a priority if you have your ultimate on them. So I just thought I'd put that one out there, but it is personal preference, guys. Now obviously, with it being 81% power duration plus, you do get the minus of 54% powered range. Now, I can't stress this enough, but it, this mod, in my opinion, is definitely preference on your personal play. Obviously, duration may not be something that you're willing to put up to a ridiculous amount like I do. Now mine is, my duration is the biggest, um, probably the biggest percent that I have on my warframe and this basically is just so that I give um, it gives my teammates enough time to be able to uh, take the shots at the enemies it's on. Uh, if you lower the rank on it you're going to get more range which in turn will give you more blast radius um, on your ultimate ability when you kill them which could lead to um, more chain reactions and explosions. Um, so again, this is personal preference on that one. Uh, next is Fleet and Expertise with 60% power efficiency. 
Well, a minus of 60% duration. Now, again, I have put Prime Continuity on, which does counteract this, which is definitely a needed. Um, otherwise, you're going to end up with absolutely no duration whatsoever. Uh, next is Constitution, which is 40% faster knockdown recovery, which is essential for Nova because she is hilariously squishy, or can be if not built. Um, next is plus. 28% power duration, which again counteracts this and this one here. So I prefer to keep this one on. It's definitely personal preference. I've seen some people um, that tell me they don't use this, but in my preference, I tend to use it quite a bit because if you go up against the bombarder or anything like that, or a heavy gun that slams the floor if you get too close and you can't get up in time, you are definitely going to go down for the count. Uh, next I've got Vitality, which again, these two here with Redirection and Vitality are definitely personal preference. You probably could take these, one of these off, if not both, depending on your playstyle, but I prefer to keep them on because again, I believe that Nova is quite a squishy frame, um, and I prefer to keep her at least on the essential side of my personal preference, which is I prefer not to go down every 5 seconds. Um, now then, let's go back um, and I will show you my abilities. Now, I'll put them as normal before, uh, before I put the mods on. Now, Null Star I tend to use straight after my Molecular Prime. And the reason for this is because um, I prefer to keep the, it's mainly I use it to keep the close quarters away from me. I mean, I use uh, Nova as a ranged character in most of my battles. Um, now, Nilsar obviously gives some kind of impact, so it does stun them for a little while, that I've noticed. It can do quite a bit of damage. Um, Anti-matter drop I don't tend to use at all. This is definitely personal preference, again, but in my opinion, it's just too weak, and I, I can't put enough mods on to actually level her out and make antimatter a good, a sustainable power uh, to be able to use. So, in that in that opinion, I don't tend to use antimatter at all. Uh, your next one is Wormhole. Now, this can be amazing for spy missions, or easily just getting out of combat, should it get too hairy you or your teammates, because when fully ranked, it can send through four people. This does include enemies though, so be aware of this, uh, but you can use this to your advantage to like block off certain entrances. I used to do this quite a bit uh, for defense missions when my teammates were quite low at rank, so it does keep them away from the defense modules. Um, now with spy missions, I tend to use it to get past lasers. If you stick it up um, and aim it to the other side of the lasers, you can actually pass through your portal without taking any um, any alerts going off from you going through that. So I tend to use her a lot of the time for spy missions. Now your next one is Molecular Prime, which I use hilariously a lot of the time. Um, and this puts a kinetic energy around them, the, your enemies. It will spiral out like, um, and the range increases, 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 um, and puts kinetic energy around. Now when you kill this enemy, like I said before, they do chain react. Now if they're in, if they're clustered together, your chain reaction is going to be a lot more better. Um, but obviously you need power range to have them, to, to have the explosion probably clip your other people or the enemies next to it, um, and power damage just to be able to get enough power damage on them so that they do actually kill the guys next to them. Um, now with the mods that I've added, we shall just have a look here, um, Animatter Particles has gone up to 10 from 6, uh, the damage has gone from 150 to 217.5, now again I do use these for close quarters, which is why it doesn't really matter to me that it's gone from 12 range to 7.32. Now this in all circumstances will be personal preference. 
Um, if you prefer range to power damage, by all means, change out what you need to. But I like to keep it like this. Um, surprisingly, molecular, sorry, my apologies, anti-matter drop has gone up, and there's no problem there. But again, I do not use that one. Wormhole, uh, power duration has gone up, which again, really doesn't matter because I mean, obviously you don't need to use it for that long. Um, your range has gone down, but again, if you're just after you're getting out of close combat, it's not close combat, my apologies, I can't even speak. Um, it's not going to make too much of a difference. And again, with spy missions, it's again not going to make much of a difference if you just plan to use it to get from um, one side of the list to the other. Um, this saves you a lot of time and effort, considering most of the lasers will not go off. Well, this just saves you a lot of hassle and just lets you pass through with ease. Now, the next one is um, Molecular Prime. Effective duration was 30, it's gone up to 54.45, which is great. Um, explosive damage is 800 originally, and then it's gone up to 1160, which is great because I love doing damage with that. Um, explosive range, uh, my apologies, explosion range has gone from 10 to 6.1. Now, this again, obviously, I'm going to say it a lot of the time, but it is personal preference. You could probably change out narrow minded and lower the rank on that to be able to get more range. But for my playstyle, it definitely doesn't make a difference to me. Uh, the next one is power duration, which is 6 originally, but it's gone up to 10.89 for this. And this is what I love. This gives my teammates the ability to have enough time to shoot the enemy before that duration goes off. Which, in turn, makes uh, pretty much the game 10 times easier to play because if they, if they, if they, a lot of the time when they are clustered, which they usually do, it's going to wipe out that massive chunk of section of enemies. Now, our range in meters was 25. This has gone down to 15.25, which you may find a little bit lower, but in my opinion, not really. And the reason why I say this is because with Nova Prime, I've noticed, um, the range on her originally, without putting any mags on her whatsoever, is ridiculously large. So she can afford to lower it by quite a, a substantial amount. Um, but again, you could probably put that up with lowering the rank on your narrow minders. Um, the percent of uh, slowdown percentage used to be 30, now it's 75. I love to slow them down. This is usually for defense missions and survivals, so that they don't get too close to you and are unable to shoot you. Um, so you're able, easily able to revive um, teammates and bits and pieces like that, because it takes them quite a while to get over to you. But all in all, uh, that was my build, guys. Um, my power strength is 145%. My power range is 61%. My power efficiency is 175% and my power duration is 182%. I hope this helps you out a lot guys. Um, hopefully it does. Um, if you do find any other better, better builds um, have, that I haven't come across yet for Nova Prime, uh, by all means leave comments in the comment section below and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks a lot guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.